Hey everyone, Tara Melton here with Magnet Forensics. I'm excited to show you today the new SQLite viewer that was just integrated into Axiom 3.1. We've added functionality right in the Axiom interface that we hope will really help you dig into those database files that you might need a closer look at. So let's go through some of these new features. I have Axiom Examine opened with a SQLite database file selected. You can see on the right hand side that the SQLite viewer is open. If I click on another file that's not a SQLite database file, the browser on the right will not be an option. Going back to the original file, I can use this drop down to select which table I want to view within that database, and the number next to it in parentheses indicates the number of lines within that table. So I'm going to click on that table to open that up. And starting here on the right, there's an option to show and hide columns. It's as easy as checking or unchecking the columns that I prefer to view to really narrow down that information that's displayed there. Each of the columns also have a filtering capability, so the examiner can set some criteria uh, using these drop downs here. And that also helps to narrow down your display that way as well. To the left, you'll see this Find button. This will allow you to do a string search on the table you're displaying. So for example, I can type something into this text box here and hit Enter on my keyboard. And if I expand out this column, you can see that the string I search for is highlighted in yellow, and all the other lines that did not have that string in it are not going to be displayed. I can click on Find again and then hit Clear, and that removes that string search from the table. The build query function here is also pretty convenient as well. It allows you to run SQL queries against the database that you have open. So for example, I can click on that and I'm going to go ahead and paste in a join statement. And if you're not familiar with SQL queries, basically it's just joining two tables together from this database and asking it to display certain columns within those tables. So when I hit execute, that SQL query is run, and you can see that the columns that I have queried are now displayed here at the bottom. Now if I want to report on the table that I have displayed here, I can click on the export button, and I have the option to export the data in either CSV or Excel formats, which can be really helpful for reporting purposes. So let's check out another SQLite database file to see a few more added capabilities in this release. I'm navigating to the main.db file, as you may know is associated with the Skype application, and I'm going to navigate to a different table here. So you can see uh, that little light blue line here to the left hand side. You're able to scroll that back and forth, and what that does is set a column lock for you. So if I scroll back and forth in this database, you can see all the columns to the left of that light blue line are stationary and scrolling back and forth, all the columns to the right of it are still scrollable. If you right click in the cells, you have the option to copy the data to your clipboard. But if the data with it contained within the cell is supported, you may also get some additional options as well. So for example, over here to the, in the avatar image column, we can see by the header in this particular cell that this might be a JPEG image. And when I right click, we'll see some different options one being a view as image. If I click on that, it allows me to view the image in this image viewer. And I can also right click in the cell and save that out as an fo external file. So as you can see, we significantly enhanced our SQLite browser to hopefully aid in your investigations. We hope you try it out and please let us know what you think. We would love to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching everyone.